Good day, DCMJ. Right now, we will be interviewed Dr. Reynaldo Ibarra, the Executive Director of PICA RTOST on their seventh year anniversary. Ibarra, congratulations for the success of our seventh anniversary of PICA My first question is, what will be the highlight of this activity, the seventh anniversary of PICA Ang pinakang highlight kasi nito ay yung mga technologies that were developed with the help of the different technology agencies of Qatar and also the accomplishment of the uh, RBA Consortia of Qatar. Uh, kasama din dito yung mga publications ng uh, Qatar. We have launched eight publications today, but actually there are a lot of publications in the country. So yun lang po yung, the, the eight publications is may mga soon pa na? May, may mga kasunod pa yan. Ang mga ang ang isang uh, focus kasi ng PICAR niya ay machine technology transfer. So after we generate the technology, it has to be transferred to the stakeholders. So we are hoping to uh, 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 engage the other department that are involved with extension work so that the technology can be transferred to the mission. And aside from that, we have the so-called DPITC, the DOSD uh, PICAR Technology Innovation Center, which is in charge of uh, facilitating the transfer of those technologies. So yung pong transfer na yun is open for the industry or even uh, Asama yan. single stakeholder? Asama yan. Uh, yung, 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 yung commercialization kasi ng technology, isa yan sa main uh, priority area ng isa. So uh, this is one of the reasons why we are inviting a lot of uh, uh, private sector to invest in the technology and have it commercialized. Last Wednesday po, ay nito na ang bayan. It's related with the, the pipeline of Kasama yan. Uh, ang aghang bayan kasi ay nagpipature ng mga research work na ginawa ng UP na pinundohan ng DOST. Yung uh, agriculture, aquatic, and natural resource sector are mainly funded by the US. So yung mga technologies na nakapitong doon, yun yung uh, pinapasilitate niya ng transfer uh, between the US and uh, uh, UP and then the cooperation with the US. namin kasalamatan ng lahat ng implementing agencies namin kasi lahat ng accomplished ng PICAR will not be possible without the help of the different implementing agencies. Ito yung mga state universities and colleges, private universities and research and development The consortium? Plus the consortium. Uh, ang consortium kasi ang tinatawag namin mukha sa iyo. Sila yung nagpapasilitate uh, para yung mga activities na yung Regarding the intervention of the DOST Pico Art on the Auckland Boracay, we will be interviewed Dr. Melvin Carlos on the activity and the plan of DOST intervention of the DOST Pico Art. Carlos, I am entering from DCMG. I just want to ask what will be the intervention of a DOST Pico Art regarding the rehabilitation of Boracay because uh, we saw the logo of DOST Pico Art and can you enlighten us about this? Yeah. Uh, well, the DOST Pico Art is in two components of the Auckland Boracay during the closure. The first component is the rehabilitation and the second component is livelihood displacement component. So the first component of uh, rehabilitation is regarding uh, wastewater treatment technologies, providing wastewater treatment technologies as well as solid waste management technologies. Okay. And then dun sa second cluster naman or component, uh, we would like to use uh, yung effective microorganism uh, production technology to assist in the sustainable livelihood development for communities who are um, who, who are far from the materials recovery facilities. So, kasi meron tayong, MRF. Yes, yung, uh, those uh, communities who have the MRF have no problem with solid waste management. But for the communities who are far from the MRF, we would like to assist them by way of teaching them, training them on uh, the production of effective microorganisms okay, for uh, solid waste management, uh, not only for their communities but also to sell. Uh, produce per se because uh, this will be used dun sa mga MRF. You just witnessed the interview of the acting the executive director of DOST Pico Art, Dr. Reynaldo Ibora. Again, this is MJ Albina Balaguer on DCMJ Online.